Hey folks, this is Justin from the Leonidas Knives and Gear Channel. Hope you're doing well out there. Got a gear review for you all today. Uh, this is the Fire Maple Orange Gas Lantern. And I want to thank the folks over at Fire Maple for sending this to me. Uh, pretty awesome little product so far. I have a preliminary first impressions video already uploaded of this uh, where I kind of just, you know, give my uh, thoughts about how it was, you know, out of the box. And um, not a lot of that has changed. I've just kind of, you know, gotten it out a few times, tested it out, um, worked with it. It seems to function just fine. It's it's really simple. Um, I just I'm gonna hook it up to the gas uh, container real quick just to show you all just the ease of use. And then that's pretty much how it's gonna be set up. Of course, you can have um, get the smaller containers if that's what you want to do. I know these large ones they're nice to have, but they work better if you're at home or maybe if you're vehicle camping. Um, I prefer to carry um, the, the smaller uh, size cans myself. But anyway, as uh, kind of just a, a basic thoughts on this, uh, first and foremost, I, I want to say that I do like this product. Um, I, I also will say that I feel like it could almost be more of like a luxury item because if you're out camping, you may already have a campfire or something like that, and you may not need a small little lantern. But in some cases, you may not be able to get a campfire made, and something like this would really come in handy because it does provide a decent amount of light uh, for the size of the flame. Of course, that flame is adjustable. I will say, if you don't carry a cooking system or have um, these cans on hand, then this product will not work for you. If you're in, like an ultralight backpacker and you just strictly, you know, uh, work off the land and get um, or use an alcohol stove or something like that. Again, this product is it's not going to make sense for you, but uh, this is kind of something that you could even use at home in the backyard or especially vehicle camping. Um, I would probably take this out on a, you know, on an overnight camping trip just to see how it performs and how I feel like carrying it. I think it's around five ounces, so it's not terrible. But again, to some folks, um, what they say, um, ounces lead to pounds and pounds lead to pain. So it's, it is something to think about. But overall, um, it is, is definitely a functional little product. Another thing to keep in mind, I'm, I'm gonna go and talk about you know, some of the things. Uh, I'm gonna start with what I didn't necessarily like. What I won't say you know, that I hated or anything like that, but um, this hard case it comes with. It's a good idea because the lantern has glass. I think it's uh, pronounced borosilicate type glass, which is uh, thermal resistant, thermal shock heat resistant, um, which is great, which is, is what you want for lantern glass. So it will last and not uh, break under a you know, crack under the heat. But um, from my understanding, that can also make the glass a little bit more brittle. Hence, they give you a hard case for it, which is fine, but uh, that's not great. I, <laughs> there's quite a bit of rattle in here. It's honestly kind of annoying. Um, maybe if you wrapped it up with a handkerchief, it might be fine. Uh, my solution to this problem, and it's maybe not the best solution, but I have this uh, U.S. Army military flashbang pouch, and it is an absolute perfect fit for this little fire maple. I mean, really, I was I I was shocked. I I, I laughed. I was like, no way, <laughs> easy. Um, doesn't give it the hard case protection, so there's that. But I like this because I can put this on outside of a backpack if I need to, instead of maybe stuffing it in the main compartment where it could get damaged. Or another idea is just to kind of put it on a top compartment of a backpack so it doesn't get crushed and it's on the outside of a pack. So if you drop that pack, you know, there's no danger breaking this. But it's just something to keep in mind, uh, you know, storage for this, I think is, is one of your biggest issues. But honestly, for someone, you know, going out, taking this camping, um, I mean, there is going to be a risk of breaking this, I, I, I feel like, in my opinion. But if you're not, um, say, mountain climbing and not over hard terrain with a lot of rocks and say if you're just like on more soft, even ground, wooded areas, I don't see how there's a, a, a high risk of breaking this. So that, there's, there's my thoughts on that. Um, I would definitely attempt it for sure. And um, then as for, you know, how much fuel uh, does this consume? From my understanding, it's pretty low consumption. So bringing something like this along, if you already have a cooking system, is, is not a bad idea. 
because you can just kind of work off your fuel there. And of course, you know, how much you adjust your flame is going to depend on how much fuel is burned. But again, from my understanding, this does not uh, burn a lot of fuel. It's low, uh, low consumption. But overall, I mean, it seems like a really nice product. It, it works well. It seems like a, a good quality uh, product. And um, I wish I had a comparison for it to kind of work off of. I don't. Um, I think there are a few out there. I believe they're a little more expensive. But at the time I made this video, this is about $30 or $40 online, which I think is fair. It might be a little high for an item that some folks would consider a luxury, but it's still pretty neat. It's a little bit unique. And again, it works and it seems like it's it's a good quality for what for what you would pay for. So anyway, folks, that's uh, that's pretty much all I got on that old fire maple lantern. And um, hey, give me that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down there. And if you haven't subscribed, hey, please do that. I appreciate your time. Y'all have a good one.